Hello YouTubers, this is the B Man 610 and this is invading the uh, the Seven Forces invading Alderaan. So um yeah, it is finally done. I finished it like Friday Thursday I wanna say. And uh, I was just waiting for a couple people's feedback. I was really hoping they would give me the feedback, but none of them did respond, so it kinda sucks, but whatever. Um I just decided to film a video because in the weekly update, no one really gave me any good feedback. It was all blah and boring and whatnot. No offense, but it wasn't really that good. So I didn't use any of that. So this is pretty much all my own idea. No one else's ideas. No one gave me any ideas really in this mock besides this one, which is from Carl Gente. But um, that's about it. And um, yeah, let me just start off by saying this will probably be in two parts. Um, because I don't want to rush it. And there is an overview. Um, I think it looks really nice. I think it's my best mock so far. And, it looks better. Let me just move it right to right there. Yeah. Alright, so I think this is my best mock so far. It, it looks really cool from the top. The trees look all nice. And then all the little details and buildings. But, um... Yeah, first off, um, uh, I'm going to do a series of these mocks. The next base, I'm entering into David's contest, which I'm actually going to build a prototype for you guys for the weekly update, just so you guys can see what I'm planning on doing. But anyway, um, the next, like, base, sorry, that I'm doing, it will be really huge, and it will be for David's mock contest. It will also be the second part in this series of mocks. And so, um, yeah, it's kind of like Chris Production Studios, how he has, like, the clones are trying to take over Dantooine, but for me, it's, uh, droids are trying to take over Alderaan. So, I know Alderaan's different than this, but, you know, it's a different part of Alderaan, I guess you'd say. So, anyway, over here, we have, uh, two little rock mounds, which have a little grid plate on top, and they're also, like, outposts. Clones can fit through there. I tried it. Oh, just, they can't have their helmets on. But there are holes for them, and then just some plant pieces on them with some ARF troopers. This is going to feature the ARF trooper squadron, along with a couple regular clones and a gunner, which are being trained to be ARF troopers. Because they need more, like, gunner-type ARF troopers. Which, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool, I think, if I actually made, like, a gunner ARF trooper, and then those would be the ones with, like, the machine guns and stuff. But, I still gotta... Give this to one of the Arf Trooper guys. I don't know which one yet. I'm gonna give it to one of them. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, there's some ants on there. Just kind of random details that I put in. Uh, plates that I put all around it. And then here we just, like I said, no, this chain idea was inspired by Carl Gente. I think it looks really nice. I just used, uh, like, these are supposed to be cement pillars. And then this is kind of like to rope it off. Because the clones, like, they were uh, trying to research uh, an area that they thought had minerals. They could mine and make some more money so they could get more clones from the Camino Cam I don't know how you say that. But uh, the Camino people. Caminoans. Uh, yeah. So, uh... So that's why they kind of roped it off. They're trying to say it's their territory. But the droids also heard about the mining thing. So they want it. So they're kind of like, gonna, this is going to be like fighting for the mine, I guess you could say. And, um, yeah, so we just got uh, some assassin droids, which are trying to take out the sniper and him. Well, the sniper is going up against them. Just a uh, ton of plants in here. I used about 300 plants, about 4,200 water pieces, and, I don't know, maybe a 1,000 or so, probably a little more than a 1,000, uh, grade 2x4s, and, yeah, but, uh, just a ton of droids that are coming in, all these legs are from the snipers up there, which are on the little trees, which are inspired by Endor, I think it looks really nice, so I have that, but, um, yeah, then we just got some supers, so, regular battle droids, which are marching in to try to take it from the front. There's three different battles going on. 
Well, actually, there's two main battles, but then one of them is a little branch, I guess you could say. But uh, then we just got some Marf Troopers, which are coming out of the outposts. Then a uh, reg uh, regular gun, or a regular clone, with a uh, Mando, Mando gun, and just can call machine guns. So, yeah, you just gotta have a machine gun. And here we have my, like, sci-fi sandbag things, which I think look really nice. If any of you guys do use that, please give me credit. First one to use that, like, not the first one to use that design. David used that for sandbags, but I made them sci-fi. So we just got some Marsh Troopers in them. These are the, like, lowest ranking. Since they have the least experience, they need, like, I guess you'd say the best protection. But anyway, one of them got shot in the head. And, um, yeah, just a ton of plant detail, a uh, ton of plate detail also. Over here, we got, uh, the droid leader guy. These were from, I think, Exo Force sets back a long time ago. But he, he, I think he's pretty cool. I really like the way his legs are made. But then they're just some droids. There'd be more over here. But, you know, this is just part of the huge thing. So, yeah, he's going through here to try to sneak around behind the our troopers or to actually try to get into the base so then they can you know take that out or something and then back here here you have this wall I changed it up from the other wall I had but I think it looks nice it looks all rocky and cool I think I might do something like this in a base upcoming base or something but yeah just trying to plant details on it and then back here we got two speeders. This is like a little speeder bay. This is where they put the speeders. And that looks I think it looks really nice because there's a regular clone driving them. And then there is an arf trooper, like the minigun arf troopers on the back. And I think it looks really cool. Or no, this is chain gun, the other one's a minigun, sorry. But um yeah, I think it looks really cool because then it has this turret, that turret, that turret. And this turret, so like, you know, that's going to take out these droids pretty much, because then when it comes around, you can just turn it again and shoot them all. So that is nice. And uh, over here, we just got a little party of droids that were going through. And since the scout or the arch troopers knew they could, didn't have enough snipers, because they only have nine snipers. Five of them are here, or actually six of them are on the bridge. One, two of them are over there, and one's down in the forest. Uh, they knew they wouldn't have enough spikes, snipers to cover this section, and they didn't have enough troops. Um, they put a little thing of TNT, or dynamite, or whatever you guys want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. But, um, to blow these droids up, there's like seven regulars, or six regulars, and three elite assassins. So those guys were planning on marching through here and just taking some flanking shots and whatnot. And here we have this really nice river, it leads through there, over there, and then it goes out right there, which I think looks cool, with the sand and everything, I just think it looks nice. And then, uh, after I show you guys the trees, I'll go to the next part. But we just have, uh, palm leaves, I did a really nice job for this, I think, cause there's that, that's my normal tree design, and then I had a branch out, so it's like fuller, so it's about the size of my hand. Which is, I don't have a huge hand, but it's in, I should say, a pretty big hand. I just broke that off, which, erg. Alright, let me put you guys down real quick. Alright, let me put you guys down real quick. Stare at this guy for 20 seconds. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, this took me, I don't know, maybe four days to build. So it wasn't that hard. It really wasn't complicated. It just took a lot of time because of like the river. It took about a day to make, or that's how long I worked on it for. I don't know, a day, maybe two, and then plant pieces were another day, and then the rest of it was on other days. So yeah. Um, Anyway, the trees are looking really, look really nice. I was originally going to try to use palisade bricks for all of them, but I ran out. I have only one left of making one tree. So I use just round 2 by 4s for this. But then, there's these are ladders. They can just fold down like that. They're folded up because they don't want the droids climbing up there. Since there's only snipers up here. And then we have little like platforms around each tree. And then there's bridges leading to each tree. And originally, I was hoping... Too, since there's like the waterway here, 
to have like an easier way to get to the base since you have to walk through the water actually to get over to the base. Have it so there's another tree like right, like a big tree like right here or something that I move them all that stuff around and then have like a platform going to there and then it would lead down and you could get to the base but I couldn't do that I did not, not have any palm leaves. But uh, 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 this is part one guys, hope you guys like this so far. Quick bird's eye view. And yeah, tune in for part two soon, part two soon, guys. Part two soon, guys. Uh.